All right, here's an eye-opener video. This is a five-day time-lapse up in the Arctic. Okay, you see the sun is going to go down. It's getting smaller. And here it's not going down. It's coming back around. Notice that the camera is moving 360 degrees. One day has passed. Okay, it's going to the second day. You can see the sun is moving down again and getting smaller, but coming back around again. Notice that the camera rotating. 360 degrees, second day, we're on to our third day. So if you look at this, this proves that it's a flat Earth. The sun's getting smaller again, coming back around. This is near the Arctic. Now, if this was a, if the globe theory held true, this is near where the access point of the globe would globe would be. So the sun should not, you shouldn't have to rotate the camera at all, really. Um, you can see the sun getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a local sun, about 3,000 miles away. Once again, the Arctic is near the access point on the globe. Therefore, you shouldn't have to spin the camera 360 degrees per day. But here, this proves it. It does. Not only take note of the fact that the size of the sun gets bigger as it's coming towards noon, and then look, it's going to get smaller. Guys, wake up and share.